Hello students, this is Professor Sagar Pichai and I welcome you all for the online class of Analog and Digital Electronics. So in this class, we are going to discuss on the next method of simplifying the Boolean function is the Patrix method. So before this, you have studied Boolean algebra method for simplifying the Boolean function. You also have studied the KMAP simplification for the Boolean function and also, you have seen the Quinn McCloskey method in simplifying the Boolean function. So, Patrick's method is another method to simplify the Boolean function. So, what exactly is Patrick method? What uh, we, how we are going to use this Patrick method in simplifying the Boolean function? That is what we are going to see in this introductory class. So, in this video, we are going to discuss only on the introduction to the Patrick method. In my next video, you will be looking into the method that I will be applying in simplifying the Boolean function using Patrick method. So what exactly is Patrick method? In Boolean algebra, Patrick method, which is also known as Patrick function or branch and bound method. It is a technique described by Stanley R. Patrick in 1956 for determining all minimum sum of products solution from a prime implicant chart. So the algorithm that we are going to use in simplifying the Boolean function using Patrick method is that the first step tells us to reduce the prime implicant chart by eliminating the essential prime implicant rows and the corresponding columns. In the second step, we are going to label the rows of the reduced prime implicant chart like P1, P2, P3 up to Pn, etc. From a logical function P, which is true when all the columns are covered, P consists of a product of sum where each sum term has the form Pi0 plus Pi of 1 plus Pi of 2 and so on of up to Pi of n, where each pi of i corresponds or represents a row column, a row converting column of i. This is step number three. Step number four talks about reduce the p to a minimum sum of products by multiplying out and applying the absorption law, which is x plus xy is equal to x. This law you must have discussed in your Boolean algebra. Each term in the result represents a solution that is a set of rows which covers all the main terms in the table. To determine the minimum solution, first find those terms which contain a minimum number of prime implicants. This is step number 5. In step number 6, what you have to do is, next for each of the terms found in step 5, Count the number of literals in each prime implicant and find the total number of literals. This is step number 6. Step number 7 talks about choose the term or terms composed of the minimum total number of literals. Understand? Choose the term or terms composed of the minimum total number of literals and write out the corresponding sum of prime implicants. So these are some of the steps that we follow in determining the Patrix method. So these methods, these seven steps we are going to apply in uh, determining the minimum functions for a given Boolean function using Patrick method. So this was a small introduction to the Patrick method. This method will be applying it in the uh, minimizing of the Boolean function using this seven steps that we have just discussed. Thank you. Hope you have understood these steps. Uh, you will better understand once we apply all these seven steps in determining the minimum function. Thank you.